And so we told you the Hawks are the home team. Jeremy Colleton has the chance to dictate the matchups. He's got the last change. Dave Tippett had to put his lineup in first. He starts the McDavid line. And now Highmore checked by Russell. Kane came up with it. Dropped it back, Mata with a long slap shot. He scores! Oh, Mata, perfect screen out in front from Kirby Dock. And the Blackhawks strike first. Holy Mata. Effort by Highmore below the goal line. Goes from low to high. Screen in front of the net by 77 red Kirby Dock. And somehow this puck finds his way, maybe off the inside of the knee of Chris Russell, but there's Doc in front, causing some havoc. Go back to that penalty kill, partner, right? Hawks got a big lift off of that. Next thing you know, they got a one nothing lead. And now it's tied right side of the Hawks, unable to control it behind the net. The Oilers go cross crease, dry side with a tap in, and we're tied. Face off win for the Hawks. But the turnover, the quick play to the front of the net, Ennis Yamamoto. And Drysaddle's on the other side. Chicago goal, his second of the postseason. No, Leon Drysaddle, who came, flattens it out, slipped it over to Brinkett. He had his hot pass there. Stock trying to center. Taves advance and they score. Kubelik might have been the one who finished it. The Hawks cash in on a two man advantage. And it goes from DeBrinket to Doc to Kubelik, and it finds Jonathan Taves, and somehow this puck, I think it goes off the right toe of the skate of Jonathan Taves. It bounces just barely over the goal line, as you see Koskin in desperation mode. But another power play goal. Turnover, Dreisaitl shoots one. Good block by the man who turned it over. And Highmore now on a shot. They score. Crawford thought he had it. He fumbled it, and Dreisaitl put it in the back of the net. We are tied. And he turns it over. Dreisaitl with the chance. Highmore with the shot block. The shot from the point takes a crazy carom. Now Dreisaitl with a dozen left in the period. Dreisaitl. Saturday, he wanted Neil, then McDavid, he scores! Connor McDavid pulled it off the pad of Corey Crawford. And just as the Hawks did at the end of the first, the Oilers strike on the power play at the end of the second. Taylor's bench was yelling at Dreisaitl. 15, 15, 15. Meaning that's how much time was left in the period. And the skill level of McDavid on full display here. Forehand, backhand, gets stuck, and then he just elevates it up and over Corey Crawford and Calvin DeHaan. Five and a quarter defenseman so far. Duncan Keith with a long slap shot. Koskinen had a look. Rebound! Taves hit the post! Oh, Koskinen gave a rebound, and Taves beat him. It's showtime. Bear winds it around. Shane couldn't pick it up. Mata did. Cuckoo's one timer. He scores! Might have been tipped in front. Traffic in front of Koskin and a neat redirect of the Blackhawks. Have tied the game late in the third. Back to the point. Carpenter, D to D. The shot from Cuckoo. And see if 36 Red gets a piece of this. Yes, he does. And the Hawks with a huge goal from their fourth line. Well, how good does that feel for Matthew Highmore's first ever postseason goal? Dave pulled it back. Keith Murphy's long clip. The 10th is gone! John the Tay seemed to redirect it. A long wrister from Connor Murphy to the back. The puck ended up in the back of the net. Kubalik to Keith 
to Murphy, and then the redirect by the captain going to the front of the net, as you mentioned, Pat, after winning the faceoff. Taze pulled it toward the board. They work for it there. Comes across. Yamamoto tees it up. Crawford stopped it. He tried to hold it. Came free. Over to the board. Zeal a turnaround shot. Missed it out. Hawks win. The Chicago Blackhawks with two 